Welcome back. So this is Lemony, guys. As you can see and hear, the waves are massive. And I just spoke with John and Eli. They're paddling out to my mare right now, so I'm a little late. And I will meet them out there in a second. Yeah, you guys, subscribe to my channel, like this video. Every subscriber helps. Every like helps. Thanks for watching. Today is probably the biggest swell we've had this season so far. I would say year, but we're only like two weeks into the year. Also, me and Nate just dropped the podcast. Put the link in the bio. It's been a long time coming. Check that out. We're dropping a ton. Let us know what you guys would like to see as a name. People we'd like on. Yeah. So today, though, my brain's all scrambled. I got my boards ready. I got a 9.0 and a 9.6, and it's huge. It's gonna be peaking midday, according to the buoys and forecast. And yeah, clearly it's too big for Rocky Point. But I think we're gonna be surfing pretty much all day. They literally called the eddy on for today, two days ago, and then they called it off yesterday before the day it was supposed to run. A bunch of people flew in from Europe, like all over the world, and they called it off like while they were half on their way here. Oh well, it happens. I, I think it was a good call though, because it's big, but it's not eddy big. What eddy big means is that it's maxing Waimea Bay every set. It is borderline a closeout, and it's not gonna be doing that today, I don't think, but that's what they need for the eddy, and that's why they called off. But we're gonna head down to Waimea Bay, and hopefully not surf with a million people, because that is usually the scariest part about that wave, is all those people. But yeah, it's gonna be a long, sunburn-filled day. That's out there. Oh my god, look at this left. It's not good. False alarm. Um, okay, I should probably head down to the bay because actually my friends aren't waiting for me. They've definitely been surfing with or without me. So, yeah, subscribe to my channel, subscribe to the podcast channel, click the link in the bio. Check it out. Let us know what you think. Love your guys' support. It's greatly appreciated. And yeah, much more to come. It's gonna be a good year. I have a really good feeling about this year. Off we go. You fly over because they called it on? Yeah, I, yeah, I was like yellow alert. I called it on. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, yeah I was like, that's, I was in a funeral. I'm like, I'm oh, going in. This is my son, hey, Cannon. Hey, how you doing, Cannon? Uh, Cannon? Cannon? I don't think nice you've met him. He was like a grommet. Yeah. Good enough, yeah. And it's gonna be thick enough. So yeah, right to get out there before yeah. you can't get out. Bro. I think they should have maybe ran it. This wind is good, bro. It's good. My man doesn't mind the wind at all, ever. No. So I thought, anyway. Well, we're here, we're gonna surf you. Yeah, I'm stoked to do it. Yeah. Okay? First time in my life I've been stoked. Yeah, because right. yeah, I'm like, you know what? I'm here anyway. I don't care. Yeah, perfect. Okay, ready? I'll pull on my vest. Too. Oh, Lydia, can you grab that red vest out of my bag? Yeah, and that. Um, yeah. So, here's some big wave equipment. Let's break it down for you. I don't know if you guys know, but usually we use a thicker leash than this, but I don't mind it, why man, if it breaks. But what we do have on our leashes is these. So, this is like a full release. Yeah, it's heavy, huh? Yeah. And so, like, if you need to get away from your surfboard, you just pull this and the leash comes off and your board goes flying. And then we got this Quicksilver Aqualung pull vest. There's four CO2 canisters back here. We got four pulls to bring you up for air. So what this is for is when you fall on a big wave and you're like, oh my God, I might die. I need to get to the surface now. I'm running out of air or something bad happens. You're like, just pull one of these. And this thing inflates super big with air and you, you don't always come up right away just because the ocean's so powerful, but it definitely helps a lot. So you got four of them and a release, so you can pull one, come up, you're like, oh my God, another wave on my head, try to release and get down underwater, and then pull another one. 
and then pull another one and another one and then if you pull four you're pretty done for your day is probably over just to say the least it's not gonna last much longer how big are the boards you're riding all right so this is my 9l with the backwards flames i know you guys love that go away helicopter it's like landing up there yeah, it's shoot. and then we got the 98 which will be my backup if i break this but yeah my man is one of those waves backside you it's just like it's just like taking off a back door i'd say but on a massive scale what i like to do paddle in stand up and don't even let go of my rail kind of like a back door wave they will insert a clip right here of what i'm talking about and then we'll insert one for my man this session oh, the nerves just hit me somehow i'm getting better at dealing with my nerves i gotta get ready okay it's for my after session right there got a couple of those things it's the best hydration in the world coconut 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 wireless so you know it's big. You need two leaf strings or two plugs. Yeah. It's okay, it'll stop. Okay. If Lauren hits you up, we'll see where you go. It's okay. <laughs> oh, on aim, I'll be safe back there. Hey, thank you. See ya. That's my mouth. I it up. You gotta go. Um, yes. Got that GoPro? Yo. How big is it? Really? Nice. All right, bro. Here we go. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> the water will continue to rise even further, so please be aware. Keep your eyes on the water. Don't turn your back. No we're on the north shore will be safe today. Thank you.
fuck! I, I saw I saw you like come up and I like I was blocked on a lot of waves. Your first one was sick though. Really? First, yeah, my one, first one was good. Crazy. That was probably my best one. I got that full wave. Oh, from here? Yeah. Legendary. Fuck. The GoPro angle would have been sick. How'd it Fuck, pop the off? Did you hit it? So sick. I watched them. Well, we should go swim for it. That's such a bummer. There's no float on it or anything. Oh, you see the one I ate shit on? Yeah, you airdrop. John made it around you somehow. I I got blocked on that one. Chatty has a sick John angle. I was going. And if I knew, I wouldn't have went. And I was in a pretty bad spot for it. Just got smoked. But I came in because my arms are cramping up. <laughs> the current out there is gnarly. <laughs> well, they all work. <laughs> oh. Best works. Safety. The surface. But I pulled down one. I wanted to pull them all to make sure all the the things work because it's brand new. Oh, okay. The first one I fell on, I pulled it. Fully inflated after the thing stopped. Just still underwater, just going straight down. So happy. I forget how gnarly my man is. It's pretty gnarly. It's a sick wave though. Not too crowded either right now. There's a current ripping through the lineup. And it's just the whole time you're sitting out there, or not even sitting, you're just laying down paddling the whole time until the wave comes. My arm's locked up. What time is it? Uh, 12. Oh my gosh, it's so good. So, there's so much in there. Pull it over my back. <laughs> Gonna yeah. break a nail. Okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> all in all, it's a really fun session. Really bummed I lost the GoPro, but try not to think about it. There was so much good stuff. I did a full like the whole paddle. I did a talking part, just like talking about my man. Talked to John out there a bunch with it, and then the waves were insane on it, but. Whatever, it happens. I can't save them all, I guess. I should have had a little float on it, but I didn't. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it was like a four hour session, got a ton of waves. Debating on going back out right now, but I think the call is to go home, grab some food, drink a ton of water, maybe some hydrator stuff, and then come back down and look at it possibly go back out for the four hour evening session <laughs> but I'm pretty exhausted I got pretty smoked out there the back of my arms are cramping up towards the end of it a weird current came through but all in all it was a really fun swell good call they didn't run the eddy because it's big but it's not eddy size big so and a good call on their part a lot of fun waves with friends we, it might not be over either, so we'll see in a little bit. <laughs> Just had some much needed coconuts after that four and a half hour session. Ended up not going back out. And I didn't just have these actually. I've been sitting out here for like two hours now. Almost fell asleep in my room. Jack went home for a little bit, just came back. Because we thought we were going to go for an evening sesh, but decided not to. What do you think about this machete? Should I start selling machetes? This is living machetes? <laughs> Dude, I got this thing. It's called the Z Slasher. It stands for Zombie Slasher. It's possible in 2023. I mean, I might start <laughs> selling these. I really like them. It's perfect for chopping coconuts. But if you live in the mainland, I don't really know what you're going to use them for. <laughs> I don't know. Um, it was a really good day. A lot of friends surfing, some really fun waves. Nothing too scary, I'd say, but still enough to get the adrenaline pumping. And it was a good day, all in all. No one got hurt. I think Nate and Billy went to Maui. I guess it was really good. I don't know if Nathan got any more waves, 
than the one wipeout he posted, but he ended up having to go get x-rays and stuff, so I really hope he's okay. And yeah, I hope those boys scored over there. I'm sure I'll talk to people in a little bit, see how it was, but they said it was 25 feet and glassy. My man was, had some 25 foot bombs. Me and John definitely missed like two waves out there today that I really wish I could have gone into. They were, they came in a little bit differently than most of them. Like if waves, like the ones we missed kept coming in, they would have ran the eddy 100%. But it was only two that I seen while I was out there. And it just, why man is one of those waves. So it's like, it's, it's so crazy. Cause you're sitting out there in this, like a lot of water moving, big wave, open ocean swell kind of stuff. And you literally see the ocean just stand up like way out there. And on, these are on the bombs I'm talking about. And everything in you is telling you to paddle out. But what Waimea does is it stands up super tall and then the good ones, they, they back off and then double up. So when you see it stand up, you can't move. And the whole lineup always just starts booking it out. But you know if it's a good one, you just have to sit there and wait for it. Otherwise, if you do go out, you're gonna be too far out, which is what we did today. I missed those two good waves, like rookies. Unfortunate, I gotta sneeze. Anyway, really good day all in all. Had a lot of fun. Sat in the ocean for a long time. Got a lot of fun waves. Lost my GoPro. Oh no, my allergies are turning on. Sorry, guys. But yeah, like this video, subscribe to my channel, go check out the merch. We got a bunch of new stuff coming. Bucket hats are coming soon. Stay tuned for the next video. They will be in that video and live in that next video and ready for purchase. So thank you. Thank you everyone for supporting the channel. It's amazing. Subscribe to my channel. You guys are awesome. Check out mine and Nate's podcast. The links in the description here. Thanks to all my sponsors, Quicksilver, Celsius, Blenders, Dehui Wax. And yeah, Heisel Surfboards. And this is living. We'll see you guys next week.